When you bought one of these, you had the same issue that I had when I was installing this one. I skipped the part, but here is the adjustment of my Ender 3 Pro. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. So, last time I did an installation of this glass plate from Royality. It's a wonderful thing to use with 3D printing. But however, I got this little thing that I didn't mention quite well on my last video on the installation. I did say something that I'd done on my, uh, on my end stop, but I didn't show anything about it, what I did or how I did it. So thank you NA for pointing it out. So here is the video how you can adjust your and stop to use this glass bit. So as you can see, there is a difference between the two uh, printing surfaces. The stock print pad, uh, the magnetic pad, it's, it's quite lower than the glass plate. I can use the caliper and it would say that my print pad is just one millimeter thick. But however, the glass plate, it's almost four millimeters. So there is a difference of three millimeters. Yeah, just do the math. So last time in the video, I tried to adjust the bed by using the, the thumb screws and it didn't work. I had to do something with the end saw. Now I'm going to cut the chat chat. I'm going to show you how exactly you can do the same thing. I have adjusted the camera so that you can clearly see the end stop. And as you can see, I just put it on the stock level here. I'm going to use that part of the chopstick that is something like the same height as my glass pad. As you can see, it's now like that. And now we are going to adjust the height of my bed. So now we are going to level the bed. This is the way that I used to do this. But if you have some other ways, then feel free to do that. So just going to the first corner. That's not the way you want it. So, a little bit down. Now we take this piece of paper. It's always what I use for this. Sneak, it needs to grab it. This, that you can also see it. Here is too much pressure, so I need to do it, put it a little bit down. Right. Oh, there's too much down. so that you can see what I'm doing. It's sitting again. Be careful not to scratch the bed.
in here it's just now I still had a calibration cube on my uh, SD card um, I leave it printing now so that I can see where are the flaws in uh, leveling the bed but as I am watching I did turn the dial a little bit backwards so it had to take some time to get the filament out of the hot end and now it's uh, it's it's printing and it looks pretty nice making adjustments on your end stop on your Endo 3 or your Endo 3 Pro or your CR10 is not that difficult just a little bit higher and then you got enough space to make the bed level that being said thanks for watching if you're new to this channel please subscribe to my channel it will help you quite a lot with your 3D printer or 3D prints or other things that has to do with 3D printing. And please like this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Happy 3D printing, Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.